Alright guys, I am not excited to make this video today. Um, as you can tell by the title, we lost 1.1 million coins. We lost a lot of coins this weekend. Uh, we took a fat loss, um, so I'm, I'm wearing the loser shirt too, just to, to kind of rub it in even more for myself. So yeah, anyways, we saw uh, some massive loss on investments that we talked about last week. I want to go over that. We did see the market kind of crash for quite a few gold cards and a lot of the lower tier meta cards as well, which kind of contributed into what happened. So I want to go over what happened, what to kind of expect this week, and kind of just go over um, you know, what to do for the future. Um, there are a few things I do want to address as well when it comes to losing positions, because that's something I didn't mention. Um, so yeah, so obviously the big play that we were looking at was Marino and Smith Rowe. Now Marino absolutely tanked down. He dropped about 20k from the buy price that I at least bought at. I think we recommended about 50k. Um, so yeah, he's down about 20k, which is absolutely horrible. And um, just for starters, I mean, I, I honestly feel so bad. As a trader, I don't care about losing the coins. What I feel worst about, worse about, what I feel horrible about is that I recommend, this is a play I recommended. I know there'll be people out there that lost coins and I, I just hate the fact that that happened um and and i guess you know i, I know how everyone feels um because i um i never got out of these cards um you know a captain goes down with his ship so we like i said we're, we're sitting at like millions of coins at a loss right now um which is it is all right like i said it's just coins you can make them back there's there's no real value to them but there are the few things that kind of happened this weekend uh that Maybe we should have. Maybe I should have looked at, and, and I'll go over them. Maybe you know was just a little bit unlucky. So as I said to start off, the market kind of actually crashed down, and this was due to, I, I don't know, a lot of supply coming in. Um, but a lot of cards dropped so much in value. Erling Haaland has fallen to 110k. At last week, last Thursday, when we made the video. This card was 180k. That is a massive drop off, and, and it's exactly what we saw in almost every card, aside from a few special cards out of packs. Gold cards completely just died out in value. Uh, very, very unfortunate. Virgil Van Dyke has gone from 240 to 200k, and, and just like that, we saw pretty much every card come down. Uh, if we go to the market tab right here, we'll see index icons. Uh, they came down quite a bit too over the last few days. I want to say a lot of the kind of lower tier, mid tier ones, again, kind of just dropping off. And we see this huge just drop in value. Now, that's not to say some of these cards might return. The gold cards definitely won't. But some of those icon cards maybe will. Some of the special cards out of packs might. Maybe not to what their value was, you know, five days ago, but they could have bottomed out here as we see kind of the market rebound on. It's usually, it's usual Sunday to Monday trend that we always tend to see. Now, with Marino specifically, um, there were a few things that um, kind of stood out to me after the fact that uh, um, were kind of interesting. So, first things first, just his links. Perhaps the Spanish links were not as strong as we initially thought, you know, with a lot of La Liga cards being super good, um, you know, I thought maybe that this card might come in. Despite how popular his card was and how many games played and all the positive reviews, it just wasn't enough. And I think the major reason why, and um, this one is purely my fault and it's why I feel so bad for recommending this card, I have been using him as a defensive mid and kind of looking back on it i realize this guy is a center mid and not many people are going to play the same style of play that i do and they just see him as a center mid and in la liga alone there are so many different center mids to choose from including a very popular card in lamar who many people will go with over a card like marino because he's got french links and there's just so many different cards you could choose from in that center mid position and I think I kind of overlooked that because I thought to myself, you know, this is a great defensive mid. Not many people are going to use him as a defensive mid, though. So as I said, guys, I feel so, so bad about that. I hope, like, I hope none of you guys went all in. And it's something that I want to talk about very briefly, actually, right now. Uh, and it's what to do in losing positions, how to take losses. Because every trader is going to lose coins. Uh, any of these traders coming out of this weekend saying they didn't lose any coins um, are either uh, they just don't trade enough or, or they 
just kind of got lucky that they weren't holding any of the cards. But a majority of traders lose all the time. Um, and it's just about, you know, kind of cutting your losses quickly beforehand. Now, what you don't want to do is, is do what I did and, and hold all these cards. Unfortunately, I was away all weekend, so I was not able to get on the game at all uh, in order to sell these cards. And I'm kind of holding these cards now at their actual bottom. Um, I will decide what to do on it tomorrow once I kind of see how everything's kind of moving around. But yeah, um, you know... If a card that you're holding has dropped 5, 10k in value before the below the floor that we kind of mentioned, so for Marino, for example, we said that he had a pretty decent floor at about 45, 50k. It, when he dropped below that floor, that is when we should have cut our loss. And you should do that for every card. You should always put like a card that you should drop down. So Erling Haaland, for example, um, we've seen in the past that he has kind of held that 170k, 160k range. Um, once he dropped below that, we should have known to got out. And, and this drop is ridiculous. This market is also ridiculous. Um, just the way it dropped this weekend with the packs that we got and everything, uh, it, it's astonishing to me. Um, just how much these cards dropped. And like I said, I'm not going to blame a poor call on, on just, um, you know, the market. It was, it, it was a bad call, I guess, from me. But you'll notice that almost none of the cards from the, the previous promo rose up. And it's just because the, the market reacted horrible. Um, we, we basically saw a huge market crash where people lost coins on every move. So that's one of the things that's kind of unfortunate. And there's a, a there could be a large number of reasons why this might have happened. Um, it could have been because uh, of just supply. It could have been because we got a brand new game in Call of Duty coming out and a lot of people shifted over. A lot of people I saw on Twitter were actually talking about how they're, you know, more casual players. You know, they saw their teams just dropped in so much value and they're like, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm done with this game for a little bit. So it's, it's interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, again, very, very unfortunate. Now... We do, actually, as of right now, I don't know if we have anything that is set to come out this Friday, or that we know of. We will get another promo, whether it's Team 2 or another Team 1. It doesn't really matter, um, because the moves we're making are not going to be promo cards in a time where the market's kind of died out like this. Um, but it's fodder time uh we mentioned it these cards actually held their value very well um while the whole market was coming down a lot of the meta cards dying out these cards did pretty good uh 89s are only down 2k which this is the buy price i would say um i think kane is a good card that you can make your coins back on again his floor is 30k he peaks with SBCs at about 40-ish K. I think these ones are safe to go into. Anything from 87 to 89 is is very good. Um, with the 86s, you're getting a little bit close to that 87 pricing, so I just kind of stay away. I think it's safe to go with the 87s through 89s. But guys, good leagues, good nations, good positions. You know, center back, go go for those kind of unique nation or unique positions like center back, left back, right back, etc. Um, because there's just less of a less of a variety to choose from. So like Trent Alexander Arnold, for example, I love him as a fodder investment. Harry Kane, there's not many high rated strikers at his price. Actually, there's there's none as you can see on this list. There's no strikers at all. So cards like that will probably do very, very well. Again, hold-wise, you're waiting until EA drop a decent SBC to come out, um, which, you know, could be whenever. Uh, like I said, Mondays, we've, tend to see, we've tended to see that they have been dropping a lot of kind of puzzle SBCs and stuff. And these puzzle SBCs or, or you know, Icon Pack, Hero Pack, whatever, um, they've been doing pretty, pretty good. I did mention last week I thought we could be getting a party bag very soon. Maybe we won't see it before Black Friday, but Black Friday is coming soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And that's why it's a good time to probably hop into some fodder cards very soon. So yeah, guys, um, that that's really all that that's the update we got for you. Uh, there will be another video tomorrow where we'll kind of go more in depth of what's going to come once I kind of hear more about what promo is going to drop. Obviously, this video is being pre-recorded a little bit e earlier, but I did want to post it out. A post, a, I guess, an apology. Um, you know, Marino was a huge one that dropped because not only did he drop because of over and I guess over investment too could be a reason. Um, there were a lot of people in it. He didn't rise right away, and I saw an initial sell kind of come through. But through over investment, um, kind of a vague positioning and stuff, and then just the market in general, there's a lot of coins to be lost. And I hope that some of you guys didn't lose too too much. I I honestly feel 
so horrible about it. But I hope you guys, uh, if you guys are still gonna gonna watch me, I think you know your fodder will probably make your coins back in a much safer way. Um, I, I highly doubt you'll end up uh, losing coins on something like that. If you guys uh, are, are still here and, and you still don't hate me, which I also appreciate that there wasn't too much hate in the comments. I, I don't think I got a threat or anything, which is surprising because I, I was expecting it, but no. Uh, for real, I appreciate the support. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.